a lot of the reward videos also teach um, some social skills. This is about not splashing each other at the pool. There's some about sharing, um, working together and things like that. So some of the rewards are actually even teaching tools as well. This is one of our students who needs um, someone to help her mouse because we only have one touch screen. So she touches it and then the assistant um, works for her. Um, no matter what she says, even if it's the wrong answer, she clicks it. He utilizes the skills, he generalizes them really well. If I ask him stuff in class, he says, I learned that on Teach Town. So actually tell me, he is the rock star of the Teach Town. So um, he's going to make it through. And it's really neat because with him, I get to see all those high level lessons because he's so far advanced of everybody. I'm like, oh, this is what's coming. I can't wait for this. I know I can read it in the book, but it's much better to see it right there. My, my graphics, it's much more exciting when I'm like, you're spelling, you're doing this, you're doing that. So it's cool to see. The touch screen made the biggest difference. The first time he did it on the touch screen and the screen reacted to him touching it, he was like, like there was someone behind him he couldn't see, like some ghost was doing the computer. We laughed for hours about it. He loves it. And what we like is a lot of the pop-out language that he gets. He'll say the things in the circus. One of the biggest things we've seen is him using touchscreen. He's generalized that to isolate his pointing better. Dominic was always one of those kids that pointed everywhere. Now he's learned when he knows the right answer. He points at the right answer. And it's great to see we do a sight word based reading program with him where it's all receptively based. He can do it now because he's not tapping everywhere. He's learned give one answer. And he learned that through Teach Down in his touch group. So it's a neat skill that he's generalized to other areas. And he loves Teach Down, don't you? Ah, yes. He's doing addition facts, obviously. Um, a basic part of any kindergarten or first grade curriculum. Now he's doing time to the hour. Again, that kind of stuff is right there in curriculum. One of the things the kids like is when he goes to sleep at night. There's another piece that picks up all your data. This isn't great data because Andrew didn't do a lot of the work, but it actually tells you how many percent correct they got on each session that they do for you and what they did today. Which person is surprised? This is emotions. Again, something for a really long time, especially by teachers, that we can try to pictures and all this. It's nice that it's just all right there.